Good morning. For those of you whom are listening at the sound of my voice, this Friday, October the 1st, 2010, this morning prayer will go out to the four family members who lost their lives in the Avarez family. Sad to say, Daniel Alvarez, the, the husband, 25, his wife, Natalie, three-year-old Zachary, Zakara, and one-year-old Ariel, all lost their lives when their Jeep Cherokee turned over into a ditch which was full of water. And Lord, we pray that Ezekiel whom was taken to a hospital and I asked God to send his angels and hope that Ezekiel life will be spared may we pray O Lord who art the strength of sufferers and the comforts of those who are heavy of heart incline thy ears O Father we beseech thee to the prayers of all who cry unto thee in their troubles stress and distress Father upholding the fainting, relieving the suffering, console the sad, and make thy face to shine upon the family members. 25-year-old Daniel Alvarez, wife, 26-year-old Natalie Owens, three years old Zakara Alvarez, and one-year-old Ariel, who lost their lives so suddenly, O oh Father, and too soon. O oh Lord, thou lover soul, who wisdom is beyond our understanding surround the family lost with your love father that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the days and days to come and may our lord jesus christ be near the family to defend them within them to refresh them around them to preserve them before them to guide them behind them to justify them above them to bless them and Lord, let their lives ring and resign with their families and the Father and the Holy Ghost, and their souls are bound up in ours forever, Father. We see them now with the eyes of memories, their faults forgiven, their virtue grown larger. And so does goodness live and weakness fade from sight, O Father. We remember them with gratitude and bless their names. And their memories is a blessing forever, O God. And we remember as well the fallen ones but who but yesterday was part of our community. And to all who cared for them and labor for all people, we pay tribute, O oh Father. And may we prove worthy of carrying on the tradition of our faith for the task is now their families. Their souls are bound up in all of ours forever, Father. We give you thanks that they now live and reign with you. And as a great crowd of witness, they surround us with their blessings and offer your humbleness and praise and grace, that they, these lives live forevermore in your kingdom. And let us remember and thank God, whom we worship, for making us your children by grace and for staining us with the bread of life. We thank you, Lord, for your presence wherever we have gathered. We thank you, Lord, for the pardon of our sins, especially when Christians have renewed their life as Christians who restore us to the fellowship of your faithful people, the saints. We thank you, Lord, for the faith of all who have gone before us through their encouragement to their families. As I scratch my hand to thee, Lord, many times we wonder why so many young lives are gone too soon. But, Lord, we know, uh, Father, that you know best for us. You said tomorrow it's not promised. It's not about the age or the race or the character of an individual father. We were all born to leave this life, this earth, in order for us to have a better life, a better a new body and a new heaven and a new earth, as promised by our Lord words. We thank you, Lord. And Oh, Heavenly Father, sometimes we uh, just wonder, Oh, Heavenly Father, why, oh, why, Father, uh, a young baby 
uh, one year old, O oh, Heavenly Father, Ariel, uh, O oh, Heavenly Father, twin Ezekiel, who, uh, whom you allow to, to be able thus far to make it, O oh, Heavenly Father. O oh, merciful Father, we wonder a young family like this, O oh, Father, why they had to be gone so soon, O oh, Heavenly Father. But Father, we know uh, because we walk by faith and not by sight. O oh, Heavenly Father, that uh, we know that you know best, O oh, Heavenly Father. We also know, O oh, Heavenly Father, that one day we all will have to meet the sting of death. And O oh, merciful Father, we realize that uh, many want to go to heaven, but nobody want to die, O oh, Heavenly Father. But, oh, Father, this morning, we want to say to you, thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. We want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace, which Paul said, your grace is all that we need. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your kindness and your forgiveness. Oh, Heavenly Father, this morning, the world needs you like it never needs you before. Oh, Heavenly Father, only this family and the memories wound are our survivors. Oh, merciful Father, I ask you this morning to touch all the members of their families, Father. Send your angels down to touch their hearts, Father. And when a tragedy like this come upon a family, oh, merciful Father, sometimes I've seen so many want to give up. But Father, give them the strength, O oh Heavenly Father, to just hold on to your ungodly changing hands. Give them the strength, O oh Heavenly Father, to walk by faith and not by sight. Let them know, Father, that this too shall pass. O oh Father, they need you now like they never need you before. O oh Heavenly Father, this morning we want to say thank you. Thank you, O oh Heavenly Father for allowing us to be able to just live one more day. Oh, merciful Father, for those whom I know this family. Oh, merciful Father, let them remember the good memories and the good days that they enjoyed with this family. Let the family, Father, understand that everything happened for a reason. Oh, merciful Father, this we ask in your Son, Jesus' name, because we know, oh, Heavenly Father, you watch us over us. Amen.